frog. All right, R60M's at 9.7. Very cool, Gaijin. I mean, I guess it's better than 9.3, but still, come on now. Anyway, this is the SU-25 Frogfoot. It's a premium rank 6 battle rating 9.7 strike aircraft for Russia, and it's further making every flareless aircraft around 8.7 to 9.0 even more of a pain to play, as if having to deal with A9Ls at 9.7 wasn't already painful. So now not only do we have to deal with A9Ls, we now have to deal with R60Ms at the same battle rating. And I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty sure the SU-25 spam is just as bad, if not a little bit worse, than the A10 spam when that was added. But I'm not going to rant too much on that today, I'll save that for another video. So the SU-25 Frogfoot. It's kind of weird looking, kind of cool looking honestly. But it has a quite hefty loadout of ground attack ordnance, so for close air support this thing's probably a monster. But I don't play ground battles, so I'm not playing this today as a close air support aircraft. I'm gonna try and get a bunch of air-to-air -air kills with it. Before that though, let's talk about the flight characteristics. This thing has very powerful engines even though they're non-afterburning, and due to these powerful engines, you can rip your wings off in level flight. I believe the rip speed's about 0.87 Mach. So far I found myself tapping the air brake quite a lot to keep myself from ripping my plane apart. But like I said, 0.87 Mach, it's not super slow like the A-10 is. So you do have a bit of a buffer room before you lose all your speed, but it doesn't really matter that much anyway because this thing isn't very maneuverable. You're really not going to be winning all that many dogfights in this thing. Which honestly you're not really supposed to, after all this is a ground attack aircraft that was not designed for air to air combat at all. But like I said, you get two R60Ms, which are a very highly advanced missile, and they can pull extremely hard and get to your target extremely fast. And I reiterate, this is at 9.7, so in a down tier you can phase a whole bunch of Sabres and MiG-15s. Super balanced, Gaijin, good job. If you get an R60M fired at you in a Sabre or MiG-15 or even like an RE8, good luck dodging those things. Because as far as I'm aware, it's pretty much impossible to dodge an R60M unless of course you have flares. I know I'm kind of beating a dead horse here, but the R60M should absolutely not be at 9.7, along with the A9Ls on the A10s. Of course, proper battle rating decompression and a rebalance of the entire game would fix all this, but of course we know that's never going to happen at this point because we've been asking for it for years and nothing has really ever been decompressed at all. Man, honestly, it's getting really hard not to rant about this shit whenever I make a video about a plane around this battle rating because it's extremely annoying. But moving on. So using the SU-25 in battle, it's pretty much just shoot your R-60Ms at somebody and then play for targets of opportunity. Frankly, I'm not really enjoying flying this thing, so I'm kind of just shooting my missiles off and then dying because I don't really care. So basically, I've adopted the new premium player mindset with this plane. <laughs> but hey, if you do know how to shoot your missiles properly, it's almost a guaranteed two kills every game, especially if you just fire at people who don't have flares. Anyway, that's all I've really got to say about this plane, so let's get into this extremely heart-pounding, exhilarating, intense gameplay. Enjoy. Hmm, no lock. Interesting. You cut that burner. Ooh. Please keep that afterburner on. Uh oh. Overshoot, please. No, I'm not making a delta overshoot. There's no way. Unless those cannons keep doing nothing. Uh oh, I'm flat spinning. <laughs> Dang. Oh, we're out of it. Now if I can just get up straight. Look how damaged I am. How am I alive? Get a lock. Get a lock. And he's dead. <laughs> dude, this plane, dude. Look how I took so much damage. Did you see how many times I got hit with bullets? Those 30s did nothing to me. Jeez. What a damage model. Who am I going for? Somebody who's not paying attention. Probably this guy. He's dead. Next. Crit. Well, I mean, alright. But does he die? I don't know. And I got an assist. Well, maybe not. There we go. You know, the gun's pretty fun to use. <laughs> maybe I should try the MiG-27, because I think they have the same gun. I want to kill the A-10. 
Plus this F5 puts himself right here, and I can actually aim for once. I could get this guy. There we go. Now I can go for the A10. Super long range shot, ready. Oh. Oh no, not an aimer. Um, oh, I thought he was pitching up for me. There we go. I mean, I guess I could go for ground targets. I mean, after all, I am a ground attacker. <laughs> nah, that's boring. All right, lightning, A5s, okay. Who can I head on? Will this guy do it? It seems that's going to be a kill. Very nice. Okay, so final thoughts on the Frogfoot. I don't think I need to keep talking about how annoyed I am with the R60Ms being at 9.7, so I'm not going to continue to rant about that. But after playing this for a good chunk of today, I can confidently say that I feel bad for anybody facing this who doesn't have any flares. However, once those R60Ms are fired, it's pretty easy to kill one of these things. And to be honest, if this spam continues, I might make another F8E video because it seems like I'm getting more up tiers than down tiers by a lot. Like, in fact, I think I've only had like one or two down tiers. If that, I don't even, actually, I don't even, I can't even recall that if I have or not. So theoretically, potentially, and perhaps, I may make another F8E video. Potentially, maybe, perhaps, theoretically. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. How do you feel about R60Ms being at 9.7? Let me know in the comments. And on that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.